Hello to everyone and welcome to part 2, which is actually a part 2 of the video. So I forgot to mention um, that you need to fit this uh, SIM card um, pin. So this, uh, when you press uh, to get the SIM card um, tray out, you'll have to, uh, this, pin, this pin is pressed further on in order to eject the sim card uh, tray so you will also need to fit this in i have already fitted the main board and uh, okay no So, before fitting the board, make sure on your new screen, if it does has um, this small part right here in the upper side, let me show you. So, when you want to eject, eject the SIM card tray and you press, this small pin is pressing down and it will press the mechanism to release the SIM card tray. So always make sure that this small piece is properly inside, as you can see. If it doesn't, uh, push it in. If it doesn't has it, just use the old one from your uh, original uh, cell phone. <coughs> Okay, so don't forget, fit the vibration motor in place and then, uh, or whatever it is, I'm not even sure if it's a vibration motor or if it's a GPS antenna or something like that, similar. So you need to press that in, in order to be able to let the board come down. If you don't press that little thing, this one. If you don't press this fully in, the board will not go in because it has some, um, as you can see right here on the tip of my finger, it has a um, metal thing, which is right here. So if you don't press that in, the board will not fully go in. So you will get like lots of headaches because of that. So make sure to press that in first of all, fit the board in, gently press the cameras so they will go in the designated space <coughs> and then don't forget to fit the upper side uh, Phillips screw, the upper board Phillips screw, sorry, this is the Keep the board in place and to make sure it has a proper contact on this side where it's very important as um, a lot of current goes onto the board through these connectors there are four connectors as you can see actually five six five connectors sorry right here so that's why that screw is very important make sure you don't lose it <coughs> now let's just carry on this is the new screen, this is the old screen. Now let's gently remove the lower uh, plastic cover. <coughs> okay. So I did remove the lower plastic cover, which also has the speaker mounted on. So it has the external speaker. I 
I'll go somewhere in it. So dust will come out. Okay. Let me put put this away. So I'll have some more space. And now you'll have to unscrew this screw right here. So this holds the lower board in place and uh, it ensures that it has a connector, uh, a proper connection with the chassis. So properly press the screwdriver when you want to remove the screws, otherwise you might get a rounded head screw. So it will be a very big headache to remove that screw from the board or from the phone. Okay, so now I just have to remove the this connector right here. Only the lower uh, and the smaller connector because this is the display connector. So it's no longer needed as we are now changing the display. Okay, and now gently try to uh, pull the board away with a plastic tool. I fully disconnected the connector. This is the fingerprint sensor. So remember, here is your fingerprint location. This is the fingerprint sensor. Always make sure that you remove the plastic cover on the new screen. Otherwise, otherwise the fingerprint sensor will, will not work 100%. Okay, so I removed the lower board and this a bad type C port and head jack. Um, um, Sorry about that. So, in order to remove the fingerprint sensor, which is uh, quite like a camera, uh, on the old screen, since I didn't uh, need it, the old screen anymore, I used uh, a sharp edge of the of the knife to pull the plastic uh, thing which holds the sensor in place in order not to damage the sensor because uh, when I tried to manually remove it uh, it didn't want it to come out <laughs> so it was looking like um, a small problem hence you have to pull it out forcefully and this is not quite recommended to so if you see a part doesn't come out don't rush wait easily remove it as otherwise you will damage it and damage it and you will um, end up in a 
A72 without fingerprint sensor, so you'll get like um, the older version of A72. Not very good, honestly. <coughs> Okay, so fit the lower board in place, then fit the fingerprint sensor in place and make sure it's properly in. Okay. And make sure you also slide the lower board a bit into the uh, outer side of the display. You'll need to slide it in a bit. Okay, let's carry on. Now let's make sure we are taking the antenna through the needed, uh, through the designated space. Okay, first antenna and then second antenna. If you don't put them through this uh, place, the back cover will not fit and you will uh, gain difficulties. <coughs> Remember, after fitting the board, make sure you will fit the board fitting through. Um, yeah, or however it's called. Sorry for my English, I know it's not perfect, but I haven't spoken English for um, many years. Okay, now make sure you fit the lower side. Sorry, make sure you fit the um, display connector. Make sure you gently connect it back on the board and also make sure that it is in the needed right position it needs to easily go in and it also needs to make a click
then connect the battery and just check if the phone and screen are working by powering on the phone so as you can see the phone it is working and the screen it is working now you need to turn it off in order to carry on working on it just disconnect the battery in order to turn it off don't wait for it to turn on then connect the battery back again and uh, make sure you bend the connector in place so it will uh, not push something else i don't know so always keep your phone turned off while you're, while you're working as uh, some sensors are only detected when they are connected it's like uh, <coughs> now you new the newly phones are like same as cars if you don't have a piece connected you will get an error because of that piece is missing now properly connect the antennas you need to put them in position and then just gently press them in they will click a bit but always when you work with phone connectors always make sure that it is in the right position don't just press on it you'll break the connector and uh, you will be it will be um unfixable so you'll have to buy another screen or another board so always be very careful very very careful and i'm not joking when i'm saying that now, now let's carry on fitting the lower side. okay and um, about the lower board uh, screw make sure you fit it here next to the antennas the black screw the one that holds the board in place properly tight it uh, you need to properly tight it because they are very very um tiny uh, spring connectors to call them like that underneath the board which need to properly place on this uh, piece of metal without them pressing properly you will uh, get uh, some parts not working like a microphone or speaker or wi-fi or who knows what so always slowly push them in slowly Fit them in and then connect the screws. The screws need to be connected in the order you took them off because some are longer, some are shorter, some have um, like a smaller step, some have like higher step of the. Um, so when i say step um, i am not sure how it's called in english so the the this thing on the screw you know it's on some uh, it, it's bigger on some it's smaller and uh, many other differences which can appear so that's why you need to put them in place um, in the same um, position you took them off so you will know which screw where and where And remember, properly tight the screws, but don't over tight when you feel like you have been putting enough force on the screw. That means it's enough. Don't over react. The, sorry, don't over tight because you will break the the screw head. 
okay so it's almost complete we are only left to put the upper side and the screws I remember the upper side <coughs> okay before fitting it in make sure everything is in the correct position and make sure you have properly pressed a bit the cameras and um, other things which um, go into designated spaces so you just to make sure they are fully connected and now gently press on the upper cover plastic cover sorry no Okay, now let's fit uh, all the screws back in. After fitting all the screws back in, I will, uh, before uh, gluing the, the back cover, because I have a new back cover with new glue, glue double check that everything is working turn on the phone make a phone call check the microphone and the speakers check the cameras check the fingerprint sensor check the side buttons and make sure it's all working if it's not you'll need to fully open the phone again and to check what uh, you did wrong that's why you need to take extra uh time and uh, extra care i know it's a long video i know it's a boring video maybe but it's very very important to listen every step not only to see what i'm doing because if you, you will only see what i'm doing and you will not do the same as i did you will most probably end in uh, breaking up your new display or frame or board or whatever so always be careful always be patient wait don't rush they are very sensitive, um, they have very sensitive parts and you really really need to properly fit them in the correct position, in the correct slot and properly fit the connectors between them. If you don't align the connectors between, before pressing the connector, you will end up in uh, breaking the small uh, connector legs which are like uh, and see you can see them with your bare eyes you know you only can see them by making a high quality picture with a camera like a, a performant phone camera or something similar so if you do break some of them you can uh, make a picture without um, shaky hands of course and zoom in the picture so you will see be able to see which connector you broke if it ever happens this is what i did when i uh, break my phone before okay so now it's ready to to test it i will not fit this until the end um it says samsung on the no on the new cover the old cover as you can see it's quite scratch <coughs> always keep uh, your old cover because uh, you only the camera lens um, glass maybe in the future now it's completely connected and everything is on now it should properly work turn it on check everything is working and then finish by gluing the lower side the cover sorry it has a as you can see it has a plastic thing right here if you pull this it will uncover the glue and then just press it in you could uh, also use a bit of uh, heat gun and always make sure you disconnect these things which are dust protectors
Okay, so my new phone it's now starting and I'm so happy because I broke my phone and I was very 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 sad. Insert SIM card to access network, okay? Now insert the SIM card slot, SIM card tray, sorry. Okay, I've inserted the SIM card, the mobile data automatically came on, the Wi-Fi calling disappeared but it will appear back on, on your next restart, so now just double check the print, fingerprint sensor, so it's working, okay, check on YouTube, make sure you have sound on both speakers, Okay, so the lower speaker working, make a phone call, any phone call, make sure it's working. Răspund de la telefon. Tăi pe speaker și pe mod. Auziși? Okay, so I checked with the phone call. Um, the microphone and the speaker are, the both speakers are working. Uh, also, get a phone call, make sure it's vibrating when you're getting calls. So put someone to make uh, to call you in order to verify if it's vibrating. The okay. So in order to verify if it's vibrating, just um, check on the speaker. Just put it on vibrations and it should vibrate. And that's all for the moment. Thanks for watching. Share, like and subscribe for more interesting videos. Bye bye.